One disease or another is the loss of the latest time. The next is violence. Yes. Look at the violence that are happening around our world. They're in Japan where they have no, their weapons are almost obsolete. But the young man is hating them and killing the black ministers. Man's heart. We have to figure out a way to take a life. That's how the devil works. He will figure out a way to take your life if the Lord allow it. The next one, accident. We hear on the highway and on the feet quite frequently. Here, the accident, cars running to each other, one way driver, drunk driver, whatever, distracted driver. The, plant, the train that hit the rail, then some part of Missouri, dump truck hit it hit. And we cannot stop someone from hitting them. The only thing we can do is watch out for the next driver and hope it doesn't happen. If the Lord allow to call you home that way. So when we think about violence, though, you know, when you think about the martyrs of the disciples, it was violence. Christ being crucified, that was violence. And sometimes we really don't think about it that way. But that was violence. When they threw Daniel in the lion's den, that was violence. God just saw it and shut the lion's mouth and said, no, you can't eat him. Just leave him alone. Matter of fact, lay on down. Then you lay down and lay on and get the rest. I got you. But that's violence. Number four, what we all would like to do. Just die old age. <laughs> just lay down. When you open your eyes, you're in heaven. Oh, how sweet that would be, wouldn't it? Yes. And that's where all of us really would like to go. Amen. Lord, this call me while you sleep. You know, I, I don't want to suffer any violence. I don't want to suffer accident. I really want to die of sickness. I'd just like to die of old age. Just lay down when I wake up, I'm in heaven. Oh, what a blessing. That would be. And if he called us in the rapture, we all were just a pot soul together with the Lord. Who were blessed? I give you. Not as the will give. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Because some people are still afraid now to leave their home. And the enemy will make it so convenient. You just call up the phone and get your grocery on. Get everything delivered to you. You don't have to have to step outside of your door. Just reach out and pick it up. Matter of fact, you got a door cam and see it, who it is. But God don't want us to live like that. Yes, sir. He said, with my peace. My peace. My peace. Philippians 4, 7 reads, it said, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Yeah. You know, we were at the Washington celebration yesterday in the park. And the young man named, we call it Scoop. Fish's uh, nephew. He had all these vertebrae. In his back, they were messed up in all these tools. He was showing us pictures in his back. And he said it's just like when he sit up like a board in his back. Then he showed his hip all this proof that, that it is hip. And he was just as happy. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. 
And that's encouragement to some of us sometimes when we want to have a, a pity party where we have a little toothache or have a little pain. How the Lord ain't we don't need to run to remind us that I, I have someone. Look at him, what he's doing. He's still enjoying life. Out right. of all these things going on with him, he's still enjoying life. He is happy. Amen. Yeah. Not what has happened, but that he's still here. Yeah. He's able to communicate. He's still able to get out uh -huh. among his peers, yeah. his friends, his loved ones. And the celebration, what, 70 years? Seven to five and seven. What a blessing. Amen. And I've been married over 50 years. Amen. Another blessing. Amen. And I'm praying that the Lord let my wife and I, me and Kathy, See, I'll give you the year in a couple Amen. more. Amen. If you sit delay, it's time. Amen. But if the Lord say, well, I'm going to come tomorrow. Lord, come on. Amen. We enjoy the 50 years in heaven. Right. I don't want to die. Yeah. But I'm prepared to die. Right. Amen. There is a difference. And that's what the scripture says, be ye ready. Yeah. Are you prepared to die? Have you got things straight with your Savior? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said, do you have mutual life with Jesus Christ? All right. Because there is no other. Uh -huh. He let the disciples know. Mm. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah. I'm going to read these verses. Actually, the time to, and we'll be ready to go home. Right. Same book, John 16. Just flip over, John 16. Okay. And we're going to look at the 33rd verse. I had a verse or two. Part me to our having some problems. And I was kind of down and out. This person said, Read John 1633. So I came home, sit down, and opened my Bible. And it read, He said, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation. But give the chief. I have overcome. That gave me peace. And I took no word and I applied that literally. And we go on and on every sin. In the world, you will have. But be a good chief. I have overcome the world. I have. Then you may have peace. Amen. Oh, what a blessing. Yes, it is. That is. Yes. When you have the peace of Christ. There's no other peace greater than the peace of Christ. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Neither be afraid. Because I am your peace. Nothing's going to happen to you unless I allow it or I say so. Now go on and tell those that don't know me by who I am that I am. The peace that I can give them. Whatever trouble you might have. Whatever addiction you might have, I don't care what it is, whatever sickness you might have, that the peace of Christ that surpasses all understanding. When you say you're laying down at night, the bones are going on around you, but you're sleeping good like that, and you did, and the, the lion did. 
Remember the king said the next one, oh, thank you. Have your God save you. Then he said, long live the king. Long live the king. And the lion looked at him like, I see you like to take a bite. But I can't. There is something holding me. You see, that's what sex would like to do. I wish I could just take them all out. Yeah. But God just said, yeah. 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 You know, I don't like this, so I'm going to try to take them away they eat. Right. But God said, no. Right. My peace. Yeah. My peace. Yeah. Not as the world gives. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. They can't take it. <laughs> I'm finished. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, because I want your peace. I want your peace. Lord, my life is a wreck. And I'm tired. I want your peace. If I should die tomorrow, I would know, after from the Bible, present with the Lord. Not so sleep as they were saying. Annihilation as they say, the world said. But Paul said, absent from the body. Present with the Lord. And you shall delay your coming. I'll get my new body. But if you call me up, I get my new body on my way up. A body with no pain. But just see you glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Let me see you tell my story. I bless you. And I break you.